5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This is about space. America's return to space with news and information on our U.S. space program is your host of About Space, David Denault. Thanks for joining me today in our continuing series, Return to the Moon to Stay. Well, NASA's plan to return to the moon is called Artemis, Apollo's twin sister and goddess of the moon. But before the first woman and next man land, NASA is going to send a series of scientific instruments to the lunar surface through commercial partners. In a program entitled CLIPS, Commercial Lunar Payload Services. We're talking about small payloads, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, to the surface of the moon, science payloads, science instruments, maybe some rover capability, but we're buying this as a, surface to the, as a service to the surface of the moon as early as next year. So NASA has the instruments, we're ready to go, and we've identified contractors who have the ability to get us to the, to the surface of the moon. Eventually we're going to have larger scale landers and then humans on the moon for the first time in the 21st century in the year 2024. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. The idea of having private contractors as suppliers is a first. We'll introduce you to five of those contractor suppliers next on About Space Today. Are you ready to fly away on a dream vacation? For cruises and all-inclusive resort vacations, call D&D Cruise and Tours at 877-747-8631. That's 877-747-8631. And see us on Facebook, D&D Cruise and Tours, where your dreams become a reality. Hello, I'm NASA Associate Administrator for Science, Thomas Surbuchen. NASA is going to the moon with the Artemis program, and American companies of all sizes want to help our nation make its next giant leap. It is my pleasure to announce the companies who are joining the pool of NASA industry partners who will help our nation enable the first woman and next man to reach the lunar surface by 2024 and conduct significant science investigations. Through NASA's commercial lunar payload services, we're sending science and technology demonstrations to the lunar surface beginning in 2021. These payloads will help us study the moon and prove technologies that we'll need to eventually travel to Mars. Today, five new companies joined this great initiative. I want to congratulate the new CLIPS participants. Blue Origin, Ceres Robotics, Sierra Nevada Corporation, SpaceX, and Tyvek Nano Satellite Systems. We look forward to working with all of you. Together we are going. Bob Smith of Blue Origin. It's great to be going back to the moon. An opportunity like this is the reason why many of us got into the space industry. Blue Origin will be offering its Blue Moon Lander, the one that we've been working on for several years. With its BE-7 engine, that we've been test firing at Marshall Space Flight Center to the kilowatts of power it will provide to help it survive lunar night to its flexible payload deck that will support everything from instruments to rovers. We're confident that this lander can support all of our needs from exploration to science as America returns to the surface of the moon, this time to stay. Hi, Steve Lindsay here. I'm Senior Vice President of Strategy for SNC Space Systems Business Area. SNC is thrilled to have been selected for commercial lunar payload services to support Artemis missions and the next stage of lunar exploration. For CLIPS, we'll be applying experience and knowledge from our Lunar Gateway programs, satellites, and cargo resupply services for space station through our Dream Chaser spacecraft. CLIPS is an amazing opportunity to advance science, exploration, and learn more about the lunar surface. Thank you, NASA, for your trust. SNC is proud to partner with you again, and we can't wait to get working on CLIPS and many other programs. Hey, everybody. We are super excited that NASA selected us for the CLIPS program. I think Starship is going to be an extraordinary help and benefit to deliver both science 
technology, and even cargo to the lunar surface. Starship is a great vehicle, it's fully reusable, so not only can it take a lot to the surface of the moon, but it's also quite affordable. Thanks to NASA, we are the company that we are today, and we're really thrilled to continue the partnership on the CLIPS program. Gwyn Shockwell of SpaceX. The Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program will begin to play a key role beginning as early as next year. Now, these landings of scientific instruments will help us have a clear understanding of the polar cap when it's time to land astronauts on the lunar surface by 2024. Join us for our launch coverage for the first manned launch of SpaceX Dragon just days from now. Don't miss being part of history. For details, see our Facebook page, AboutSpace.Today. Thank you for joining me, and be sure to share our program with your family and friends, and follow us on Facebook. Join me next week when we meet the women in space. I'm David Denault, and this has been About Space Today.